Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to do the second step here that I've mentioned is to install the Visual Studio Code. So first thing is we will go over to our Google and over here, I'm going to open up a new tab here and I'll say install Visual Studio Code. And the first link that will appear is the one that we'll click download the Visual Studio code here for Mac, Linux and Windows. Since this is my Windows machine, I'm going to download it here. So this is the one I'm going to click on it. And the download will start shortly. You can see here, this is the downloads. I'm going to go ahead and hit the save. If you are having any issues with installing Visual Studio Code or having uh, setting up of the Salesforce CLI there, if you go to my channel, you can figure out all these different things that I've solved, installing Visual Studio Code, extending, uh, adding the extension pack and everything. And even if doing all of that, you're still having issues, then do let me know. Okay, but please go through some of the videos. If this particular section is not clear, if you're unable to install it, all of that, then do reach out to me. So now you can see here, this is the download folder. Let's go over to the folder here. I accept the agreement next. Then it's, this is the location it's going to install next, next. I would like to create a desktop icon next and install. Now it's going to take some time to install it. So setup is preparing to install the visual studio code on your computer. So this is doing all of that it is supposed to do. Once this Visual Studio code is done, you have to add two extension pack, which is important. One is the Salesforce extension pack and the other one is the Salesforce CLI. You can actually download Salesforce CLI online as well. So we can do that also. Okay, so now we will launch this. We'll click on this launch and then we'll finish. Now it automatically your Visual Studio code will start. And this is how it looks like when you start it. If it is, it's in dark color, you can always change the theme by going over to file preferences, and then you can go to the theme section here and you can change to the color theme. You can do a light version. You can do a dark version. I don't like personally the dark version. So I like the lighter version. So I'm going to go back here, preferences and uh, theme again and color theme, and I'm going to choose light one. So this is your Visual Studio Code that is being there. Now we, what we're going to do is we are going to install few of these items. So we'll go over here, extensions. And the first extension that we are going to install is Salesforce extension pack. Okay. So Salesforce extension pack, it is already installed. If you don't see it, just install it. And the same way we will do the Salesforce CLI as well. Now Salesforce CLI, if you don't have it, you can download it if it's giving you an error. So all you have to do is Salesforce CLI install. If you do that, you can download the Salesforce CLI. Install the CLI on Windows, click on that one, download the exe file, we will download it and download for Windows 64, that's the one we'll do. And you're going to download, I already have it, but I'm just going to replace it with this one. Hit the save, yes. Okay, so you can manually download it also along with your extension pack. I prefer this method because otherwise the other one was keep giving me errors. So it's still downloading. So give it some time. Now it has downloaded it. Now we will go ahead and install it. Yes. It will ask you, does it needs to allow to change the computer settings? Yes, you should do that next, next again. And then it's going to install your Salesforce CLI as well. So two things we did first, we downloaded Visual Studio Code and then we saw that, okay, uh, a Salesforce extension pack was already installed and Salesforce CLI was already installed. So what I did was I just manually also installed the Salesforce CLI because it was giving me an error when I tried it without installing the Salesforce CLI manually. And this is your another extension pack. Okay. And the one that I'm talking about is Einstein for developers. This is the one. Okay. So when you click on it, you have to install it for mine. It's already installed, 
but if you don't see it you just make sure you install it i'll try to uninstall and install it okay and now i'm going to go ahead and hit the install it's going to install it in few minutes and now it's ready okay now let's see if this is done yet salesforce cli is still installing so bear with me for a couple of minutes and we will see the magic of einstein for developers very very soon As you can see here, this has been completed. We're going to go ahead and hit the close here and our extension pack and everything is ready. Now from the next tutorial, we are going to create a project and then we will authorize the org. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very, very much.